Anytime you walk into a builder's model home, you will be blown away by all the beautiful design features that you see, and the odds are you're going to want to get a home just like it. But here's the catch. All of the upgrades that you probably love in the model home are just that. They're upgrades that you have to pay extra for at a design center. In fact, model homes like this might have a couple hundred thousand in upgrades. Now, the average buyer doesn't always go all out like a model home, but there are some parts of the home that definitely it pays to upgrade because it can add good resale value to your home in the future. The first area is the kitchen. A kitchen is the heart of the home and a lot of times it's the deciding factor or the deal breaker on whether or not a buyer will fall in love with your home. So if you want to upgrade and get the higher end cabinets, the nicer countertops or backsplash, then go for it. Now be careful though picking out super trendy designs like busy tiled backgrounds on your backsplash or maybe an unusually colored cabinet that's the trend for that year, those things can quickly become outdated. But if you go with more classic, timeless designs, those will hold their value for many years to come. The second area to upgrade is your main living room. Think of this as the first impression that all your guests are going to see when you invite them over. It's where you're gonna be spending a lot of time hanging out with your family and entertaining. So most buyers will definitely upgrade the flooring and they might add some kind of wow factor like a floor to ceiling fireplace or a big vaulted ceiling. All of those things can add a wow factor to your home which will help sell it in the future as well. And finally, the owner's bedroom and bathroom is the last place where it's good to splurge just a little bit. But be careful, just as in the kitchen, choose cabinets, counters, tile designs that are more classic and timeless to give it an elegant look that will hold its value and avoid some of the trendy things that might be out of style in a couple of years. Now you can save some money by not upgrading all of the other rooms of the house. And also look for things that you can do after you buy the home yourself, such as replacing some of the light fixtures or adding an accent wall. In fact, the builders often charge a lot more to do those things than it would cost to hire someone afterwards. At the end of the day, this is your home, so make sure whatever designs you put into it is something that you truly love. Now, I'd love to know in the comments below what's the one upgrade that your next home must have that you can't live without.